After a decade or more with my first generation A7, I decided to upgrade to the A7 IV. If you liked how small the A7 was well expect the A7 IV to be more of the thickness of most other cameras. The most noticeable difference is the autofocus speed, which is significantly faster. Even older lenses, like my 55mm Zeiss, perform exceptionally well on this camera. The next thing I noticed is the camera body's increased thickness, about twice as thick as the original A7. If you like the compact size of the A7, you'll find the A7 IV to be more in line with the thickness of most other cameras. This added bulk is mainly due to the sensor stabilization, a feature absent in the original A7. With my A7, I used to rely on a monopod because the lack of stabilization made handheld shooting prone to handshake issues. The A7 IV, however, allows me to get very sharp images without any additional support. Another point worth mentioning is the camera's dual ISO capability. This is both a benefit and a potential drawback. The benefit is that shooting at 100 ISO or 400 ISO yields images with almost identical noise levels. The drawback is that using intermediate ISO settings like 125, 160, 200, 250, or 320 can result in less sharp images if you're not aware of this feature. To avoid this, it's best to stick to 100 and 400 ISO for most situations and adjust as needed for higher ISOs. I noticed reviewers complaining about the camera menu, but if you're coming from another A7 model, you'll likely find the menu system quite familiar and easy to navigate. All other specifications were as expected. A massive increase in autofocus points, better video recording capabilities, a full HDMI slot, dual SD card slots, and more. However, Sony's decision to exclude a wall charger for the battery is disappointing. Don't be Apple, please.